like all the videos on Saigon Cat's channel are made possible by fans like you. And we are back. Hello once again, everybody. Welcome back to the live-streamed Let's Play of Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past for the Nintendo 3DS. It looks so good. So, so good. Very happy with... Hello. What's this? What's this? This is a self-reminder. You know, I let the dog out. She didn't want to come back in because she just wanted to lay in the grass and sleep. And now she's barking at people. If you could. Thank you, Reg. <laughs> Zygon peers into the well. A packed church of ninjas. That's clever, Liz. I like that. <laughs> this poor old man. <laughs> very confused. This is highly unusual. Travelers are making very rarely the journey here. Now my eyes are not so good anymore, but you are young and full of life. Uh, something German. What reason could you have for visiting this godforsaken place? I do not know. We don't exactly know why we're here either, to be honest. A lot of stuff's happened that we don't really understand. And we fill him in on our adventures. Doc, ah, so, you are making trips across the time and restoring parts of the world that have disappeared, ya? Yeah. I don't do a good German accent. Still, you should completely forget about this village. Already it is too late for us. As you are seeing for yourself, every person here has been turned into the stone, and there is no longer anything anyone can do to lift this terrible curse. I sit simply here and wait for the end to come. There is no need for you to join me in my lonely vigil. Continue your journey, bitte. Achtung! Ein Moment! If you plan to make further travels, you should take this, bitte. Saigon acquires a pretty bottle whose contents glisten in the light. That bottle is containing the angel tears. They say this legendary liquid can lift the curse which turns people into stones. Doc, now you're surely thinking, why have I not used this already, ya? Yeah? Ah, look around you. These statues are being exposed to so much wind, so much rain. Already they are ruined almost. Even the angel's tears cannot save them now. If only I had acquired the tears earlier, the people of the village are surely not forgiving me for my negligence. You see, when the nightfall comes, I... Nine, you do not need to hear this tale. I tell you simply this, things in this village are dark at the best of times. When the evening comes, they are even more dark. If you are spending the night here, be sure you are not venturing to the outdoors after sunset. So I detain you no longer, travelers. You should go quickly and continue your journeys. Another depressing town. For a series that's known for being goofy and having puns, they sure do uh, kick you in the feels every once in a while. Like this guy, trying desperately to get inside. That's, that's depressing to look at. It's a man who's been turned to stone. His exposure to the elements has left him looking rather worse for wear.
Saigon is woken by a plaintive wailing coming from outside his window. Nobody wants to wake up and come investigate with me? No? I'm doing this by myself? Alright. him. It's a man who's been turned to stone. His exposure to the elements has left him looking rather worse for wear. The statue emits a gentle glow. It's as though it's trying to say something. Then all of a sudden the light grows stronger. Herr Ralph, it is the day of the Regentons. <laughs> Perhaps you should drink a little less, Nine. Hmm, Hick, do you not pretend to have concern? F do not pretend to have concern for me. You make big money from selling me drink. I'm not so concerned for you. I'm wishing simply to close the bar in order to join the Regentons uh, festival thing. Ah, fine, Hick. Regentons, indeed. Hick. Every year they are making this big stupid party, and they think it will cause the rain to fall. Ha! Ridiculous. Hmm? Rain! It, it's raining! But this rain is strange. Dirty. Ah! My skin! My body! What's happening here? I... Is this some cruel joke? My body, it's turning into stone! Nine! Nine! Felix! Felix! Ah! Well, they summoned some kind of cursed rain that turned the village to stone. Between two books, there's a note scrawled in a childish hand. Read the note. I was playing in my secret base, and I am making an amazing discovery. Who would be thinking there's such a place in this village? It is near the cliff beneath the shop. Mein Vater is going off into, close to my self-reminder. The entrance is just north of the tree that is standing by itself. My father is often going to. Close to my self-reminder, the entrance is just north of the tree, standing by itself. The ground here feels almost as if it might be hollow. It's too dark to see in any more detail at the moment. Let's finish out the night at the inn and then come back and investigate further. Is there more to see? Super. I make Nate. I make later a note of this and hide it between the books on the shelf. Yeah, perfect. Phew. 
Felix, you cannot make graffiti. It is strictly forbidden. Shh. Lena, keep quiet. But graffiti is forbidden. This is not graffiti. This is a self-reminder. Speaking of reminding, I must tell you of my most recent discovery. It is even more amazing than my last. Your last? You're speaking of the secret base? Yeah, yeah, but that does not compare even a little to this new discovery. I will tell you of it tomorrow. Come to my home during the Regentance. <laughs> if I'm not there, you will find me in the secret base. Okay. Super. Then I'll see you tomorrow, yes? Do not be late! Forgive me, dear Helga. I was not meaning to make you wait. No, no, never mind. Well, did you decide what you were going to do? Yes, I have made my decision. I will fetch again the supplies this year. What? Clemens, no, there are monsters. What if something were to happen to you? It is because there are monsters that I must go, Helga. Our village cannot produce its own vegetables, no? This means someone must take the trip to purchase supplies or we are all facing starvation. Hey, fish food, how are you doing? We're just in another depressing town. I'm the most suitable candidate. I can more capably fight than any other man in the village. It must be me. I'm not disagreeing with this, but... I have made another decision also. Once I am returned from the trip, then I announce our engagement to the whole village. This is perfect, yes? Clemens, it makes me happy, of course, to hear such talk, but... Excellent. Then it is, a, it is decided. Helga, you must not worry for me. I am able to take care of myself. Yes, I know this, but be careful, please. Yes, yes, I'll return in plenty of time for the Regentons. Rain dance, maybe? Juicy, my shots. See you soon, my love. I I butchered that. I butchered that. I'm so sorry to anyone familiar with German. <laughs> my dear Clemens, I pray for your safe return. Hmm? You've returned? Then I suppose you've witnessed the glowing statues for yourself, yes? This glow is the sign of the grudge they are bearing towards me, I'm sure. But you do not know my tale. Perhaps I should provide you with a little of this village's history, yes? Regenstein has always been a very dry place. That is why we are holding the Regen Dance every year. It is a ceremony to call down the rains. And it was during the Regen Dance that it, was, that it happened. That fateful year, on that fateful day, I went to fetch supplies from a faraway town. As I was making my homecoming, I witnessed a large purple cloud floating over the village. And it was raining. It was the heaviest rain I had ever seen. But it was so dirty. It was gray. This gray rain did not last so long, but its work was swift. And by the time I arrived back to the village, all the people had become turned to stone. I was certain they were desperate to be made human again. I'm certain still, but... Alas, the means to bring this about has evaded me. I could do nothing. I could not help my people. I should have been turned to stone along with them. I wish I had been. Yes, this would have been a far less cruel fate.
Come on, Sagan, you can't stay in bed all day, you know? Magic sheets disappearing. What are you gibbering on about? You had a strange vision last night, and because of that you're still sleepy? I really don't have a clue what you're on about, you know. Anyway, that's not important right now. Kiefer's found something. Yep, that's right. While you were snoring away this morning, I thought I'd take a stroll around the village. And I only ended up stumbling across a secret staircase. Obviously, I could have gone and checked it out by myself, but I thought it'd only be polite to wait for you to wake up first. Okay, if I'm being totally honest, it looks a bit dodgy. I thought maybe we could ask that old man about it before heading down there. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? I thought I was going to get to go find the staircase, but no! Kiefer's going to do it while I'm asleep, waiting for it to be light out so that I can find the staircase. Curse you, game! Curse you! Oh, can I not drop off the edge? Oh... No, not the well. God damn it. I see you're still here. A staircase leading to the underground? Well now. A great many fortifications and secret tunnels were dug for battles that once raged in this area, you know. Perhaps this staircase is an entrance to one such tunnel, yes? Or a hidden, hidden room, perhaps? Ah, uh, while you are here, I have remembered a rhyme I was told when I received the angel tears I gave to you. Tears of angels scatter slow, drift and fall to ground below. I often wonder what in the world this could mean. Perhaps one is supposed to go to somewhere high up and... Ah, ignore me. These are merely the mutterings of an old... Dummy. Dumbhead. Dumkopf. <laughs> Stupid head. You must forget about Regenstein, travelers. Find somewhere new to visit, yes? A high place, eh? That big rock in the middle of the village is pretty high up, isn't it? Go down the damn stairs! Circle. I think we missed some treasure. Regenstein stretches out beneath you. If you were to release the angel's tears from up here, they'd probably float down and cover the whole village. Do you want to give it a try? Secret base number two. Oh, I think I know where you are, Ben. 
Hey, look. <laughs> you have used the angel's tears just now, yes? Uh, I would recognize that aroma anywhere, but it's not the fragrance only that I notice. The entire village has become a little bit brighter also. Unless my eyes have at last become... become... begun to become kaput. That was difficult to read. Looks like everybody's still stoned, though. This kid's okay. Huh? Who are you? My name is Felix, and I'm searching for the other people from the village. Have you seen them somewhere, Bitta? That is all very strange. They were here just a moment ago, preparing for the Regentons. I wonder if perhaps something has happened. Do you know anything of this? What? Everyone's been turned into stone and this all happened many years ago. I'm very sorry, but this is not a funny joke at all. And not very convincing either. Yo, King Thunder, what's up? But it really does feel rather empty, Nine. Well, I suppose I must continue making my search for everyone. You will help me too, yes? It sounds like the, uh, is it the Colosseum part, Ben? It sounds familiar. Secret race number one. We can't exactly take little Felix with us on our adventures, but we can't leave him here on his own either. Maybe we should ask that old man to look after him. That's exactly what I was thinking, Mirabelle. No! Stop looking down the well! Clearly looking at the old man. I thought that was the uh, Colosseum part. Alright, I must be getting things mixed up in my mind. You've used the Angel's Tears just now, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless my eyes have at last begun to become kaput, it's the same dialogue as before. Who is this man? Hmm? Who's your little friend? No! It can't be! Is it truly? No, no, I was not asking a question. It is beyond a doubt. This voice, this face, I know this boy. You are the son of Rolf, yes? Your name is... Yes, yes, Felix! Uh, this is correct. So, but where have you been all this time? I was underground in my secret base. Underground, you say? Yes, but of course, this is why you were not weathered by the elements. Wonderful! My traveling friends, this is a miracle. It is proof, proof that our village is not dead, that it is still alive and kicking. And it is all thanks to you. Though I told... I told you to leave this godforsaken place, you did not. You persisted and used the tears, and now we are forsaken no more. Thank you, my friend. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Surely this is the happiest day of my life. We must make a little party to celebrate, yes? You have breathed new life into Regenstein, after all. Regenstein. The light of hope returns to the old man's eyes at last. Ben, I thought it was the same place as the Colosseum where you lose your spells. But, uh, it's been, like, over ten years. When he realizes that the people of the village aren't, won't, really won't be coming back, Felix isn't quite so happy. Eventually, the old man wins him round and promises to look after him from now on. 
After a little hesitation, Felix finally accepts. Everyone heads to bed, exhausted after the day's excitement. And then morning comes. I'm unable to know how to thank you all for what you have done. We owe you everything. You have inspired Felix and myself to go on a little journey of our own, you know. We have decided that we must spread the world, spread the word of the gray rain which afflicted our home. If we are able to save just one life by doing so, I feel my own existence will not have been wasted. But do not think this means we are giving up on the people of Regenstein. No, no, no. As we make our travels around the world, we will continue to search for the method to bring the people of our beloved hometown back to themselves. Though we are far away, the spirit of the village shall live on. And as long as young Felix and I survive, then so too shall Regenstein. If the stream is lagging for you, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm not showing any dropped frames on my end or anything. I got a solid connection over here. So it might be your connection. It's possible that it's Twitch. See. There it is. get many visitors around here. I suppose I'd better introduce myself. My name's Carrie. I'm sorry to spring this on you out of the blue, but you're travelers, so I was wondering if you could help me out. Do you think you could do me a huge favor? Really? Oh, that's wonderful. The thing is, you see, well, I'm trying to build a town here. And not just any town. A town for monsters who've always wanted to become humans. A place where the formerly wild and savage can come to live a new life of peace. Most people think that monsters just go around attacking people all the time, but lots, lots of them really aren't like that. There are monsters all over the world who want nothing more than, to, than a chance to turn their lives around, to get a new start in a new place and a new body. And I want to build a town where they can do just that, a place where those who deserve a second chance can go about their lives without fear of being judged. In fact, I found the first resident for my little community on the way here, and I tried to bring him along with me. 
But then I got into a spot of trouble and we wound up getting separated. That's why I need your help. I need you to go find him. He started life as a slime, but then he became a poet, and as he wandered the world in search of inspiration, he developed a real taste for fish. If I was to guess, I'd say he probably ended up somewhere that's famous for its seafood. You wouldn't do me a huge favor and go and look for him, would you? I'll keep working on my plans for the town in the meantime. Good luck with the search. You probably have a shard for me. Oh, it's right, it's right there. It's right at my feet, hidden in the grass. So, clearly we're going to Pilchard Bay. The only place I can think of that's famous for its fish. Or, really, that's all it's known for. <laughs> Oh, it's you. That was a wild guess. If you're looking for your dad, I think he's somewhere on board the ship. Ah, this place is great. I love the smell of the sea and the taste of all that fresh fish. But I can't help feeling a bit uneasy. It's as if I've forgotten something. I seem to remember I was with a girl, but who exactly was she? I'm surprised. My memory is normally really good. This must be the person Carrie was talking about. Tell him about Carrie? <clears throat> ah, it's all coming back to me now. We were going to build a town together. It was going to be great. I'm so grateful to you for sharing this with me. Oh, excuse my manners. My name's Flemrique. <laughs> I'd love to give you a token of my appreciation, but I have to get gooing. I should have sorted something out by the slime I find carry. Come and speak to me then. Now if you'll excuse me. The slime word puns. Yo, soul taker. Wow, this this guy's cold has lasted so long in game. Starting to feel kind of bad for him. Let's go back to the Haven, check it out. You got are we talking about the same thing this time, Soul Taker? Because you already got your shiny torchic. Are you talking about DQ7? I'm having a great time here. Thanks so much for telling me about this place. I got you something to show how grateful I am. I've given it to Carrie to look after. You should go and grab it from her. Oh, there you are. Thanks to you, my friend and I have been reunited. I'm really impressed with how you managed to find him. So impressed, in fact, that I'd like to, like to ask you to do the same again. Only if you have time, of course. If you come across any more reformed former monsters in search of a safe haven on your travels, could you tell them about our little community? Thank you. Oh, I nearly forgot. I was told to give you this by way of thanks. It looks like some kind of stone tablet. I wonder if it's got something to do with that strange plinth downstairs. It certainly looks like it would fit on top of it, that's for sure. The stairs leading down to the plinth are near the trees off to the northwest. Why don't you go and take a look? Wouldn't it be lovely if all the reformed former monsters you found had interesting little treasures like these tablets to give you? Something about holding this one makes me feel calm somehow. Maybe they make the former monsters feel calm as well. Either way, our little community is growing nicely. I'm sure there will be lots more reformed former monsters making their way here before long. There's bound to be lots of work to do, so any help you can offer will be much appreciated. Hmm. 
Hello there and welcome. I'm in charge of this plinth, and I'm really happy that you've come to see me. Now, since this is your first visit, I should probably ex probably begin by giving you a quick explanation of what my little plinth here is all about. Basically, you'll sometimes get things called traveler's tablets from monsters and other places. When you do, you should bring them here and pop them on top of it. They'll take you to all kinds of new and incredible places. Mysterious caves, soaring towers, you name it. Some of them can be really quite dangerous. But if you can beat all the monsters that await you in the places the tablets take you to, well, all sorts of wonderful things can happen. Oh, here, this is for you. It's a stamp book. You can use it to keep a record of the monsters you meet in the places where the tablets take you. You'll get new monster stamp each time you defeat a new monster in a traveler's tablet dungeon. Is this the new grottos? This must be the new grottos. You can take a look at your stamps anytime you like by selecting info from the menu, and it's definitely worth trying to collect them all. Believe me. Okay, that's about it for me. Just examine the plinth if you want to pop a tablet on there. Welcome. If you're looking for a place to swap monster stamps for tombola tickets, you're barking up the right tree. For every six new stamps you show me, I'll give you a ticket. It's nuts, right? And don't worry, swapping stamps won't erase them from the leaves of your stamp book or anything, but you can only swap each stamp once. Got it? Interesting. Interesting. And which shortcut is this? Hey, Zergy, how are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Monster Meadows Entrance. I thought this was going to be another shortcut back to the shrine. Okay, well, this is where Monster Meadows is. That's, that's good to know. There's a small bag on top of the book. Under the bag is a yellowed sheet of notepaper. Read the note. It's always my dream... It was always my dream to build a place where monsters could live in peace and harmony. Alas, I never had the chance to achieve my ambition, and now it is too late. That is why I implore you, dear visitor, to continue the work that I started and make my dream a reality. Carry these monster munchies around, and monsters are sure to take a shine to you when you defeat them. Once a monster has warmed to you sufficiently, be sure to tell it about this place. My dream may have remained unfulfilled in my lifetime, but that doesn't mean it must remain that way forever. So, monster munchies. Just carrying these tasty treats seems to have some kind of effect. Somebody lives here. I was dressed like one of the, uh... The guys. The, you know, the guys. Hello there! This is where you can ask the monsters you've sent to Monster Meadows to go looking for traveler's tablets for you. You can also share and receive those tablets using Street Pass. Unfortunately, however, it doesn't look like Monster Meadows is quite ready to accommodate any monsters yet, which means you can't go looking for any traveler's tablets at the moment. However, you can still share and receive your tablets via Street Pass, provided you've beaten the boss monsters. Checking out the new grotto system, Zergy. Except they're now traveler's tablets. Instead of grotto maps. Which is kind of nice. It means not having to figure out where the darn things are. What do you think, guys? Think we should do one? I think we should. We have two of these now. We have Slime Tree Forest from Flemrique. Incoming Equinox, right? 
<laughs> there is some concern of that. Holy balls, look at all the slimes. Slime heart! What's this? The slime gets up and looks over expectantly. The poor thing just wants to be looked after. Tell the slime about Monster Meadows. Go on, little fella. You'll find it. You'll find Monster Meadows. Looks like this map is the uh, map of the first area that we went to. I wonder if that's how all of them are going to be. Instead of randomized dungeons, they'll just have uh, dungeons that we've already seen and done. Oh my god, slimes. Slimes everywhere. Maribel, go for the big group. Maribel, why? star right now and she's just messing up they got the jump on us Take off. See if I care. Interesting. When it says beat all the monsters, I'm kind of curious about... Like, are there boss monsters in here that we need to deal with? Because it looks like the slimes are just going to keep spawning. We already got one for the meadow. Can we just leave? No? Wait, no, this is new. There's a treasure chest down there. Waffle sandwiches? That sounds fantastic. What are on your waffle sandwiches, Sadie? You must share this information. Got another slime heart. Not making much egg H uh, HP XP or gold right now, but it's interesting to see. Wow, that was actually okay. That I take it back. The treasures in here seem to be okay. We want to get down. We can go check out that other treasure chest. Maybe through here? No, no, but there is a chest in here. Look at all the gold, Twitch. What is the problem today? This is just infuriating. Why are we dropping all of this time? It's awful, just awful. <sighs> Twitch just had. All right, we're back again. I uh, 
as I was saying before I got disconnected again today. By the way, I switched um I switched Twitch servers, so hopefully the Dallas one is doing better than Chicago. Uh anyways, uh, I saw on Reddit that a lot of people who didn't pre-order the game have been having a hard time finding it. Like, it's been getting sold out everywhere, which is just fantastic, fantastic news. If the game sells out on its first week, that's just great. Just great. I mean, it sucks for the people who didn't pre-order, but it sends a message to Square Enix that there's a lot of love for the franchise outside of Japan. I hope Builders does well. Yeah, Soul Taker got the last one at his GameStop. It also helps that there's a lot of big names who are uh, streaming it. Somebody mentioned the other day that uh, Chugga Conroy was doing it. And I know he's big. Any attention this series can get right now is so good. I got a digital copy so that I could play it right away, and then I also have an unopened physical copy sitting behind me. <laughs> Wait, I want to go back the other way and see if there's a treasure chest! Wine! Another slime heart. What do I need these for? Nope. Yeah, Builders is going to be great. I can't wait to play Builders again, honestly. And in English. <laughs> Whoa! Are you, are you the boss? Are you the guy we got to beat? Hang on. Hang on. I don't want to fight you yet. I want to look around a little bit more. Looks like there's... well, I don't know. Let's let's just find out. Let's find out. What's up, fella? It seems you've found the boss of this tablet. Fight it now? Okay, well, it's nice of them to give me an opportunity to say no. How much is the game? It is $40. Uh, US. I can't speak for anywhere else, but here it's $40. Assuming Zergi is either in Canada or Australia, then, if you're expecting a $10 to $20 price hike. <laughs> it's 50 in Canada. Thank you, Mellow Yellow. Don't look like there's much of anything in here, just a lot more slimes. Whoop! I didn't want to go back into the... Okay, yeah, camera problems. Let's swing that around. God damn it! Don't have a door that exits to the south. Pop you out facing north. Because that's just confusing. So confusing. Alright, let's go fight this boss. The boss slime. It's boss slime! Nah. Hopefully we don't have an Equinox event here. I would really appreciate it if we don't have an Equinox event here. Right, we'll just do a regular attack. We'll sap him. It's a slime. I, I just don't want to take it to... Ooh, okay, yeah, he does decent damage. <clears throat> it's a good sap. I think we are going to buff Maribel. We're going to sap out on this slime. Hopefully he doesn't just attack Maribel three times in a row. Okay, well, she'll survive a third hit. But it looks like we're also faster than him, so a heal. 
Move the body good. Do more damage than the. Yeah. Okay, we got him. That was that was a tough slime. He sure gave us a hard slime. A super seed of life? Ho 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 ho! Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? It's just, it's a better seed, I guess. We need to organize our items badly. Oh, there's an everyone option. Ha! Ah, derp. Let's take Slime Tree Forest. And I think it was just the one that we had, right? God damn it. I meant to go to place. How do I not have any? It's confusing. It's so confusing. Well, let's go check out the monster meadow. go back to Haven. It's interesting that there's like, there's Haven and there's Monster Meadows. I have no idea where that slime ran off to that I spoke to. One monster stamp, because those slimes. That's an interesting side activity. I might actually spend some time on that. I like the uh, the randomized dungeon type things. Where is that slime that I told to go to Monster Meadows? Disappointed. Oh, okay. Thanks to you, another reformed former monster has come and joined our little community. Your residence. No, there's just Flumrike. Baffled. Baffled by this. Mm -hmm. 
so confused by this. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, let's go save. And heal up. And I will take another short break. Stop at home for a nap. This isn't my house. <laughs> this isn't my house at all. That was just his species. That wasn't the uh, slime that I found in the tablet. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. I will be back shortly. If you're watching on Twitch, I'll be back in like 5 or 10 minutes. Those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you're enjoying the Let's Play. Please remember to hit like and subscribe below if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, I have a Patreon set up for it with a variety of goals and rewards. So, thank you if you take a look at that as well. Take care, everybody, and I'll be back shortly, those watching on Twitch.